I'm, uh, I'm Martin Dean, uh, I'm 47 years old, I live in Little London, and the subject of my talk today is to talk about Leeds. Uh, I moved to Leeds uh, in 1982, I can't read my notes either, never mind. <laughs> moved to Leeds in 1982, and when I moved to Leeds, that logo that's just gone off the screen was the logo of the city. And when Better Culture was, was kind of pitched to me, people said, come along to Better Culture and present about things that you are passionate about, uh, present about things that you have pride in. Well, I couldn't think of anything I really wanted to present about more than the city of Leeds. I love my adopted city. I am a southerner uh, and never will be a northerner, but I think I absolutely love the city. I love Kirkstall Abbey. I love the parks, the universities, the armory, the opera, all the different things that put together Leeds, the theatres, the museums. But more importantly, I love the people of Leeds. I think the people of Leeds are what make it a great place. What other place would have a parliamentary candidate who calls himself, we beat the scum 1-0? Um, <laughs> what, what, a, what a great guy. What other place would people talk about Kachin strips? Who remembers Kachin strips and how they'll beat any oyster card? Yeah, I'm hitting a certain group in the audience. And of course, we love to march on together in Leeds. I also love the fact that when I pitch the vision for Leeds, which I'm going to try and pitch for you very shortly, in about a minute and a half, uh, to a taxi driver earlier this week, he fed back to me one of our own, one of our own pieces of propaganda that Leeds is the greenest city in Europe. Uh, there's no empirical evidence for that, but we love the fact that we say that all the, all the time. This slide shows different graphic representations of Leeds is all about change. And I think what we're trying to do with the What If Leeds campaign is to start to think about and to consult with you about how Leeds is going to change in the future. Leeds is changing a, uh, an awful lot at the moment. Uh, our old vision, which talked about going up a league and narrowing the gap, was great and was very relevant. But there's been an awful lot of change that's happened over the last two years. Three years. Climate change. We didn't talk about climate change in 2004. It's really important to us today. We hadn't had a recession uh, in 2004 when we did the last uh, vision. It's really important today. And probably most importantly, by 2030, this city will not be one of 200 and sorry, 780,000, which is what it is, what it is today. But it will be a city of nearly one million people. And that's why we're trying to pitch to you a new, a new vision uh, in the What If Leeds campaign that we've started this week. We want your views, we, we generally do. What are, what, what are the components of that proposition? Very quickly, three big aims. First aim, Leeds should be fair, open and welcoming. We think we're already pretty good about that, but if we really, do we really think Leeds is an equal city? I don't think that we've yet achieved that, and I think our ambition is to make Leeds an equal city. Our second aim is for our economy to be both sustainable and prosperous. And of course, the, in the past, they have been contradictory aims. And our third aim is that we have successful and happy communities, all of our communities, successful and happy. And we believe in the Leeds Initiative that if we take those things together, we can create a Leeds that we can all be proud of. We can create a Leeds that is recognised around the world as being the best city in the UK. Well, that's what we're, we think, but we're asking for your views. Please feel free to tell us that, we're, that we've got it absolutely wrong. I've rushed and I'm ahead of time, and uh, <laughs> this is the third time that we've presented this, uh, this proposition today. And probably the most poignant was it was presented by my colleague Jenny in Hunslet today uh, in front of a group of drug, drug addicts. Not recovering drug addicts, drug addicts. They turned up because they'd been offered a meal, and their, and their feedback was very similar to the sort of feedback which we will get in many consultations. That people think that housing is really important. People, th people in that group felt that uh, uh, felt the city was too commercial. They felt the city didn't really speak to them as individuals. So our invitation to talk today and shape tomorrow is one which we put out to the whole Leeds community. And uh, as the final slide comes up soon, <laughs> when I've done the presentation call, call so we can say what if leads, talk today, shape tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.